Hi guys, Thornbury today, went to the recycling centre where we pick up stuff ridiculously cheap. Um, don't even know how much this cost me because we also bought a, um, one of those scooters for my grandson. Uh, one of those ones they do tricks on in the skateboard parks. And that was £3, and this sort of came with it. I didn't pay any more for it. Hover disc. It hovers, it floats, it defies gravity. Three feet wide. Toss it, do tricks. Just fill it with air or helium. I didn't open it in the recycling centre, so I have no idea what condition it's in. We'll find out. That's not a good start, that's stuck. Okay. Right. Obviously it's one of those things that you've got to twist the right way to open it, isn't it? Okay, how do we fill it? Through there. I would think... Yeah, looks like you've got to blow air into there. Well, I've got to say, that is a surprise. <laughs> I managed to pump it up and modified this balloon pump, just taped it onto that straw that I put in there. So that's pumped it up. I won't worry too much about sealing it because I want it to go down again. Obviously, because it's not full of helium, it's not going to float quite as well. I do have a radio controlled blimp kit tucked away somewhere that I've got to buy helium for. So rather than ruin this, messing about with it, I'll pack it up and put it with that blimp kit and then sometime or other I'll get round to actually investing in a, a canister full of helium gas and we can try them both. I've got to put the straw in there to let the air out again. Is coming out through that straw. So, yeah, a bit of a surprise. I fully expected it to have a leak in it. I 
I mean, you could play with it outdoors anyway. It says that you can use it with just air in it. But obviously if it had helium in it, it would uh, be a bit more interesting. I'm looking at the exciting examples of things you can do with it. You can spin it, play games with it, and bounce it. Yeah. Not terribly exciting indoors. But for virtually free, yeah, that was okay. We will find something to do with it at some time. And like I said, I'll probably will invest in a canister of helium gas at some time so we can try out that blimp that I've got. I know what my grandsons will do with it play football with it. I should have done a time lapse of it with the air going out see how long it takes. I stood on it for a while to encourage the air to come out. It's going down on its own. You have to push that tube in so it goes in far enough to clear the inlet because it must be a collapsible piece of plastic tubing. So when the air pressure is inside it collapses it and stops the air coming out. So it needs the plastic tube in there to hold that tube open and allow the air to go through. If you follow what I mean. Quite proud of myself. Managed to get it back in the box. Deflated. So we'll save that one. For a suitable outing. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.